Welcome to our video devotional today it is December the 1st, 2017. We've entered the last month of the year 2017. It's hard to believe the year is almost over. Our scripture text today is Psalms 119, 174. We're quickly coming to the end of the journey of this longest chapter of the Bible. The text says these words, I long for your salvation, O Lord, and your law is my delight. Now, I, I want to ask the question, why do you and I long for God's salvation? Is it to escape a cruel, evil world? Is it a strong inner desire to be with Jesus Christ face to face? David had come to the throne of Israel. He had battled the enemies of Israel and had been victorious. But he longed to be carried forward in his faith. He had been obedient and God's law was his delight. And he looked ahead to the completion of God's salvation for him. Samuel Aaron, a long time ago, wrote these words, and I quote, I have longed for thy salvation, O Lord. The thing which we learn hence out of David's joining these two together, I long for salvation, and thy law is my delight, is this, that it's not enough for a man to say he longs and desires to be saved unless he makes a conscience to use the appointed means to bring him thereunto. <clears throat> it had been but hypocrisy in David to say he longed for salvation if his conscience had not been able to witness with him that the law was his delight. It's a mere mockery for a man to say he longeth for bread and prayeth to God every day to give him his daily bread if he yet walk in no calling or else seek to get it by fraud and repine, not stain himself at all upon God's providence. Who will imagine that a man wishes for health who either despiseth or neglects the means of his recovery? <clears throat> God hath in his own wisdom appointed a lawful means for every lawful thing. This means being obediently used, the comfortable obtaining of the end may be confidently looked for. The means not being observed to think to attain to the end is mere presumption. God will deliver Noah from the flood, but Noah must be moved with reverence and prepare the ark. Hebrews 11:7 or else he could not have escaped. <clears throat> he would save Lot from Sodom, but yet Lot must hurry him out quickly and not look back till he hath entered Zoar, Genesis nineteen seventeen. He was pleased to cure Hezekiah of the plague, but yet Hezekiah must take a lump of figs and lay it upon his boil, Isaiah thirty eight twenty one. He vouchsafed to preserve Paul and company at sea, yet the sailors must abide in the ship, else she cannot be saved, saith Paul in Acts 27:31. <laughs> Isn't it interesting? God's always put these two together for us. We long for salvation, it's completion, but we make the law our delight, and that's how we get to that end. The great side of this salvation we long for is that when it's finalized, we'll have no more dealing with the flesh, no separation from the Savior, no pain, no sorrow, no night, only the glorious light of the Son of God. Perfect peace, perfect purity, and perfect hope. I think one of the greatest frustrations for believers here is the, the flesh battle. We, we start this journey, we excel at living by faith over the battles of the flesh, and what happens? The next thing you know, we've surrendered to something we were victorious over. The great thing about the completion of our salvation is when we receive the end of it, temptation is gone forever. No more battles with the world, the flesh, or the devil. Wow. I long for your salvation, O Lord. Your law is my delight. David's solution is make the law of God your delight, and the longing for the salvation of God will increase so I think the challenge for me, I pray for you today, is keep the hope of our salvation in front of us at all times. Keep the end in sight. With Abraham, we're looking for a city whose builder and foundation maker is the Lord God Almighty. So 
Are you longing for the completion of your salvation? I pray you will. Well, let's increase that longing by delighting in the law of the Lord. Lord, I ask you to give me a new hunger by the power of the Holy Spirit for your law, for your ways, the principles and the practice. And then I thank you that there'll be this increase, this increase of my intensity for the completion of my salvation. Help us to persevere to the end as we keep the glorious end in sight. I pray you'll be blessed by how I live and how those who listen and watch this video today live for your glory and your honor. Amen. Have a fantastic day. You belong to the Lord. Your salvation is assured. Go with God.